In this video, I'll be showing you how to code the land the player will be walking on. Have a new sprite with every single backdrop you need. Don't have the sky in any of these costumes. Unless your entire game is going to take place during a certain time of day, keep the sky in the backdrop. For the rest of creating the game, you'll have to press the script to fix layering. The player sprite will also have to go to the front layer along with anything you want to show in front of the player. To initialize the land sprite, set it to whatever costume you want the player to start in. Remember, I wanted a menu in my game, so instead of putting all of this under the when flag is clicked script, I set up everything when the flag is clicked, then show everything when the broadcast start is sent. The land sprite will always be at 00, zero so there's no reason to set the position and direction here. After putting in the land, I think my player is a little too high up, so I lowered his ground Y value here, here, and here. This number may be different for your game, but make sure it's the same number in all these places. We're going to add two similar sprites, left and right. These will be what teleports the player when it touches the edge of the screen. Have one sprite on the very left and one on the very right. They could be whatever color, they'll be hidden later, but make sure they're tall enough to touch the player character. Both of these sprites will have almost the exact same scripts, so I'll do the left sprite first. To prevent lag, I made this forever loop stop when it touches the player before restarting after everything updates. This means that the loop has to be called on to start working, so the first broadcast will be once the game starts. Now for the forever loop. Under the stop other scripts and sprite, add the forever loop and have an if statement check if it's touching player or whatever your player sprite is called. Now this block of code will be repeated as many land costumes that you have. If you need a click to enter a den, you don't need to do this for that costume. This is only for what happens if the player walks to the edge of the screen. For each area where you want to have a teleporter, set the area variable to the new area name, broadcast write and wait, broadcast a teleporter loop, then stop the script. This sequence is really important and may not work if you shuffle them around. I have a ton of lands, so I made a whole bunch of these, but you could do this for as many lands you want. We have to do almost the exact same thing to the right teleporter sprite. Copy the initiation scripts and the forever loop. I would delete everything inside the if statement because starting over the area change is a lot safer. For the blocks, instead of broadcasting right and wait, broadcast left and wait. I often get this part messed up, but remember, when you're walking towards the right of the screen, you want the area to change to the area right of your land. This means the blocks for the script and the left sprite scripts are just barely swapped. You could always test to make sure it works at the end of this video. Here's mine finished. If you compare both scripts, they are slightly different because you're teleporting left in one and teleporting right in the other. We made a whole bunch of broadcasts that don't actually do anything at the moment. Inside the player sprite made a broadcast for left and right. When you receive left, your player has to point to the right of the screen and teleport to the left of the land. To figure out this number, I walk the player over to the teleporter before it touches it and use that X position. Do the same thing for the right broadcast, except you'll be pointing left and you'll teleport to the right. Here's what it looks like so far. The area in the game is changing, but you can't see that. It's only in the variable. In order to show the area changes in-game, go to every single block in both the left and right sprites and add a new area and wait right before the teleporter loop broadcast. In the land sprite, use the new area broadcast to switch costume to area variable. This will only work if the areas you already established matches the names in the sprite. If an area doesn't match any of the costume names, it won't work. Here's the area changing now. If your land isn't changing the way you want it to, make sure you check to see if the area variable is being set correctly. If that doesn't fix it, move the left and right teleporters closer to the edge. Your player might be teleporting onto the teleporter and double broadcasting. You could tell this is happening because you'll immediately teleport to the very last land in the script. Now I'll add some teleporters that require the player to click on it instead of walking up to it. I'll be adding my nursery first. For pretty much anything confined to a single area, you'll use this script. When that new area broadcast is sent, this is pretty much telling the sprite to hide unless you're in this area. Only then will it be allowed to show up. It should work like this. And for the teleporting. When the sprite is clicked, it'll do something similar to the left and right teleporters. First it'll set the new area, 
broadcast new area to change the landscape, teleport the player, then hide itself. Here's how it should look. I did the same thing for the nursery exit. Every entrance and exit will be the same. The boolean will be the area the teleporter will show up in, and the set area to blank will be the new area when you click the teleporter. Also remember to send your player and anything in front to the front layer, and the land to the back layer. For some teleporters to make the game less sprite heavy, I combined the two and fro sprites into one sprite, and this is how I did it. This script just makes it show during either areas. You can make this an orb boolean, but I do it this way so I can organize it better. All this here makes it so the sprite will change costumes and positions along with the area change. This is optional, of course, and you could just use two separate sprites if it's easier. This is what it should look like. And that's it! After adding these same scripts to every entrance and exit, we have a whole clan ready to explore. You could hide the area variable at the top and set the ghost effect to the teleporters to 100 so you get a clean space like this. In the next video, I'll be adding ambience such as moving nature and projectiles such as birds and flies to make the land more alive and less static. But yeah, see you in the next video. My girl's here.